chemical measurement is something that's become uh, vitally important in our society. It's something that is important for um, controlling manufacturing processes. It's important for getting a handle on the identity and concentrations of species in our environment, so environmental monitoring. But I suppose most importantly, it's becoming very, very important in the area of healthcare for medical diagnostics. Uh, but there's a problem with that. It's had a huge impact on the area of healthcare, but it, area of healthcare, but it's had that impact mostly in the Western world. Unfortunately, there's a huge segment of the population of this planet that it has no impact on um, for one simple reason, and that's that it's too expensive. And what we propose to do, what we're trying to do, is to make chemical measurement, specifically make medical diagnostics, extremely inexpensive. There's two ways you can make um, medical diagnostics inexpensive. Number one, you can make the materials that you make the sensor out of uh, less expensive. And we're doing that by switching over from traditional materials such as silicon, glass, and plastic over to materials such as paper. And paper is so ubiquitous and so cheap and so easy to work with that it brings down the cost of these sensors to a very, very small level. Now the second way to make diagnostics cheap is to do away with the instrument. All diagnostics requires a scientific instrument of some sort to measure a signal. So typically a blood sample or a urine sample or whatever is taken, it's put into a sensor, the sensor is inserted into an instrument and a measurement is made. And that's a key part of, that, that's, that, that's an important contributor to the overall expense. So our idea, our, uh, uh, part of our idea is to um, have instrument free measurements using, well using one of these, using a mobile phone. Well the key, the key outcome we hope to achieve as I said is, is to make medical diagnostics ridiculously inexpensive in order that it will have an impact in the developing world.